Illinois. Both stand in at 6-9. Ball will be tossed in the air, and we are underway as the tip is controlled by Trace into the hands of Xavier off to Parker Stewart. He drives to the right wing, dumps it inside to Trace. Jackson Davis against the gong down low, kicks it in the corner to Miller Copp. He fires a three and short. short, and the rebound comes off in there into the hands of Anthony Crump. Crump had the most assists in the ball game the other night against Washington at 6-8. Here's Hankerson. He gives it to McCoy. Then they drive inside. Hankerson misses, and it's an offensive foul. That's a big one right there. I mean, you, he's your leading scorer. If Indiana can get two quick fouls on him, get him on the bench, it obviously really helps, helps their defense. So Indiana will have the basketball. Second possession offensively for this IU ball club. And with it is Xavier Johnson. He'll bring it across the timeline. Xavier works it out between the circles. Fires it right to Parker Stewart. Stewart on the wing. He got us Indiana off to a hot start in the ball game the other night with two quick threes. Stewart gets it back. Gives off to Trace Jackson Davis down low. He tries to work his way inside again. Hook shot is on its way. And he banks it in. Very nice move. That's what you need to do. Continue to pound that block. First two points of the ball game belong to Indiana. Back up the floor, Hankerson with the basketball. Hankerson gets it across the timeline, slides it off to the left side now. Now dribbles to the top. Double oh, dribble. Yep, looked like it, but the official says no. Here is McCoy down low with a hook shot of his own. He missed it, and the rebound to Race Thompson. Thompson brings it across the timeline, takes it to the left wing, throws it out to Xavier. He's at the top of the key, dribbles to the left side, pulls it back out, directs a little traffic verbally, and now drives it down low and lost the handle. Ball picked up in there by McCoy, and he wrestles it away from Xavier Johnson. Down the floor, Hankerson to Crump. Crump cut off by Parker Stewart. Good defensive play there, and a nice finish by McCoy, who picks up his first two. Trace Jackson Davis looking like he got a piece of it, but apparently it still goes in. 2-2 tie. Race Thompson with the ball out between the circles. Race directs a little traffic with his uh, pointing there at Parker Stewart. Now fires it off to Xavier Johnson. Johnson against Hankerson. Starts his dribble between the circles. Backs it back out again. Xavier looking for help. Now he drives it right into the lane. Scoops it with the left hand and lays it in. What a play. And only five seconds left on the shot clock. Very, very well done. 4-2 Indiana. Here is Hankerson with the ball on the dribble. Throws it out front into the hands of Luigi Hunter, who gives it back off to Kishon uh, Williams down low, and the ball gets batted away, and there's a foul called against Indiana. And they're going to call that personal against Xavier Johnson, his first. Yeah, he got he slapped his arm after the guy, you know, kind of took him took him left. He was expecting a screen from his other side, and uh, they got around him. He fouled the man. Keyshawn Williams will inbound. He bounces it into Hankerson. He's on the left wing, guarded by Parker Stewart. Hankerson now moves it and tries to drive it, pitches it off to Keyshawn Williams, and he gets called for a traveling violation, picked up the pivot for it. Yeah, again, good defense by Indiana. Very patient defensively, communicating very well. I mean, the only two points so far that Northern Illinois is able to get is when Xavier got a little in too deep. They're able to knock it away and get an easy layup. Down the floor, this is Johnson, gives to Race Thompson. He fires the Miller Cop on the left wing. Cop gives it back off to Xavier, and Xavier comes back to Race for a three try, and it's way off the mark of the rebound, taken out of there by Hankerson for the Huskies. Down the floor, Hankerson with it, slows things down, works it to the middle of the floor, then drives it to the right, fires a three pointer, and hits it. Hankerson with a nice step, a little step forward, and got Parker Stewart to back up, and Hankerson drills the three. Now it's 5-4, and Northern with the lead. Here is Race, gets it back to Miller Cop Again, a three by Race Thompson. Now he bangs it home. He's been working on that shot, Ted. No doubt about it. That, that's a huge shot. You can get your big man to step out and really free things up, uh, up inside. Now on the right wing, Hankerson comes out to Williams. He clears it off to Crump. Crump bounces to Hunter. The Weezy Hunter steps out of bounds. And he's not happy with, with Mr. Crump out there, his teammate. Good defense by Mike Woodson right there. He, he, he's right there in, in the middle of that play. <laughs> Here comes Xavier Johnson across the timeline. 
flips the race Thompson right back to Xavier Xavier now to the top of the lane drives it left down to the kick kicks it out the Miller top he throws up a shot won't go rebound in there by Crump and a foul call on race Thompson was reaching over his back Miller Cop's got to knock that down that's the second shot that he's got from that corner they work on that all day this afternoon I mean he's just he's coming up short continues to hit the rim that's a shot that he needs to knock down so now let's see Indiana stays with the original five but we're going to get a new face in there for Northern and we do it's Caleb Thornton in for the first time he throws it to Hankerson. They get it back outside to Thornton. He lost the handle, got it back. Now dribbles it out and gives to Hankerson out near midcourt. He drives to the right. Down inside he goes. Puts it up. Missed the shot. But it's slammed back home by McCoy. Don McCoy with his fourth point. Yeah, Indiana missed a block out right there. McCoy, not a guy that's going to do much other than set screens and rebound, and uh, you got to keep him off the board. Seven all tie here in the early going. 15.45 on the clock. Xavier Johnson out near in between the circles. Gives the cop, then downloaded Trace. Jackson Davis with it. Double team comes, dribbles away from it, now drives inside, puts it up, and got it. Nice move by Trace Jackson Davis. Yeah, there's no way McCoy can handle Davis on the drive right there. Excellent drive by Trace. 9-7. Indiana by two. Hankerson gives it outside. This time to Thornton. He feeds Williams. Williams to the right side. We got a whistle. And we got another offensive foul called on Northern Illinois. So with 15-16 on the clock, Indiana leads it 9-7. And we'll have the basketball when we return. This is how you basketball. And it was as it left the timeout for Northern Illinois. Here's Trace Jackson Davis. Dribbles to the left. Gives to Xavier Johnson. Johnson out to the top of the key. Now dribbles it back in between the circles. Still trying to set up something here. People standing around a little bit. Here's Xavier on a drive in the lane. Little push shot up off the rim. No good. Rebound fought for it. Knocked out of bounds off the head of Anthony Crump. Who saw, had the ball in his hands for a second, lost it for a moment, and it bounced off his head and went out of bounds. Yeah, and good play by Xavier Johnson right there. Driving the lane, he put the little teardrop up, didn't get it. But still, I mean, he needs he needs that shot, and he knew the shot clock was starting to run down. Here is Cop inbounding, gives it to Parker Stewart. Oh, nice fake, make. pulls up, fires, and misses. Rebound comes to Race Thompson. Back outside to Xavier. Xavier Johnson with it. He dumps it off on the right side to Miller. He drives, pulls up, bounces into Trace. Jackson Davis, one dribble, had the ball stripped away, got it back, but it lost it. And then it's picked up by Johnson. Xavier backs it out. There's only five on the shot clock. Xavier tries to make something happen, kicks it out to Cop off. The Stewart, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Good effort there by Indiana to get the shot away. Some nice passing, but they did not get the result you were looking for. Here's Hankerson across the timeline. Hankerson gives it off into Williams, and now he feeds. Well, actually, that was Williams with it. Thornton is the guy who passed it to him, and we got a foul call. And that's on Miller Cop. That'll be his first foul of the ball game. Yeah, Miller Cop's going to have his trouble out there guarding the quickness of uh, Northern Illinois. And you can see Mike Woodson right away brings in Tennessee to uh, to take him take his position. So Rob Fennessy is in the ball game. He'll guard Keyshawn Williams here at the outset. Thornton will inbound for Northern. He gets it to Hankerson, then right back to Thornton. He goes right side with a pass to Hankerson on the wing. Parker Stewart picks him up. Hankerson bounces it down low into the hands of Kingsley Okanu, who just checked in. And his shot's blocked by Trace Jackson Davis. They yeah, find out quickly that Trace Jackson's got long arms and a great athleticism. Here is Xavier Johnson. Nice spin move. Takes it in the lane. Gives it to Trace. Puts it up off the glass and in. And Jackson Davis with a six point. And thanks to Xavier Johnson right there. Great play. Great pass. Across the timeline. Ball in the hands of Thornton. And he gives it off to Williams. Williams goes to Crump on the left side to Hankerson. Hankerson drives into the lane. Turns around, clears it outside. Thornton fires up a jumper. It won't go, and Parker Stewart's got the board. Gives to Xavier Johnson, and they push it up the floor. Down left side of Parker, and he gets fouled. And this is going to go against, I believe, Keyshawn Williams. And that'll be his first foul of this contest. We'd like to see Indiana to look for Trace a little bit more inside. I mean, as soon as they get the ball across half court, if they would look inside, they could throw it in there. He's got position. Rob Fennessey will inbound. 
Tennessee looks and gets it in. It comes into the hands of Xavier Johnson on the left side. Bounces to Trace. Jackson Davis drives baseline. Cut off and threw the ball away. He was looking for Fennessey, but Hankerson was in the passing lane. Hankerson gives to Crump on the left side. Crump down the dribble against Parker Stewart. Drives it to the baseline, and he stepped out of bounds. Crump wanted him to, the official to call him for a push, but no call there, and Indiana will have the ball on the turnover, and that is the fifth turnover on NIU. Here comes Tamar Bates to check in for the first time. Parker Stewart will sit down. Take a look, number 53, Bates. Great. He's only a freshman, great athlete, big confidence, and I think he's going to be a great, great player as time goes on. 11-7, Indiana leading. 13 minutes to go here in the first half. Xavier Johnson with a pass to Finnessy on the left side. Finnessy against Thornton. Gets it away to Trace. Back to Rob. Drives it inside. Tried the alley-oop. Wouldn't go off the rim. It comes back to Xavier Johnson. And Johnson will let go a three and hit it. First three of the game. Or second three by Indiana. But the first by Xavier Johnson. He was one of three the other night against Eastern Michigan. Hoosiers now take the lead up to 14-7. to seven, A seven-point advantage. Crump gives it off to Thornton. Thornton dribbles it outside, moves it down to the right, clears it off to Williams. They bring it back out to Williams from Crump. And now Williams tries to drive on race, throws up a shot, and off the rim, no good. Rebound batted out of bounds by Rob Finnessy, but Rob's going to get called for a foul. Yeah, he's got, he got him from behind, but good good play by Rob Finnessy. Make him, make him earn him. I mean, they got the offensive rebound. He's going back up. He's going to lay that in. Now he's got to shoot, shoot uh, two free throws. So going to the free throw line is Kingsley Okanu, a 6'7 senior out of Linwood, Illinois, and a transfer from Vincennes University. Vincennes is now a four-year school, Ted. Back, wow. back in the day, they were junior college. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready for the free throw attempt. It's on its way, and it is off the back of the rim. No good. Okanu was 67% shooter last year. And he hit two out of four the other night against Washington. Going to have two here. Indiana's lead at 14 to 7. Geronimo in for Indiana. And Jordan in the ball game for the first time. Shot on its way is good. So he hits one of two. His first point of the game, 14-8 Indiana. Now bringing it up is Xavier Johnson once again across the timeline. He comes. Johnson, in addition to being extremely quick, is really a strong kid. And he and Finnessy in there together as two guards, they got to be a, one of the best strength conditioned guards in the country. Here's Johnson on a drive to the hole, lays it up. Somebody had his hand up, and it's going to be a goaltending call. And Kingsley got dinged on the play. But nevertheless, Indiana gets two out of it. It's 16 to 8 as we come to another timeout. It is 16 to 8 Indiana over Northern Illinois and the Central Mission Rob Fennessey and George Geronimo. And Darwishi Hunter is back in for Northern. And they got another new face in there. We'll pick him up in a moment. And here's Fennessey stealing the basketball wow. and then lost it out of bounds. He made a great steal. He snuck in behind him, tipped it. Not able to control it. Zool Kreth is the new face in there for Northern Illinois. And McCoy is back in for the Huskies as well. So inbounding will be Zool Kreth, 6'7", senior out of Gallatin, Tennessee, Pratt Community College. The inbound comes to Thornton. And Caleb Thornton will bring it across the timeline. Galloway's picked him up. He hands it off to Hunter. Hunter brings it outside to Hankerson. Hankerson backs it out between the circles and drives it to the right side. Pulls up. Feeds it in the corner. It goes to Hunter. Hunter takes the jumper. Bounces it down low into the hands of McCoy. McCoy puts up with the left hand and misses. But a foul is called on Indiana. And they're going to nail Jordan Geronimo, I think. Pretty good defense by Indiana right there. I mean, uh... Good job by Northern Illinois to get it inside, use, use some quick fakes, but uh, take a look. Yeah, take a look right there and uh, send him to the line. Trace Jackson Davis got called for the personal. Wow. But the uh, miss by a dog McCoy was significant. Yeah. <laughs> That's the nicest way I could say it. It almost didn't hit the rim. A little brick laying. And the second one on its way good. So McCoy picks up his fifth point of the game. 16 to 9. Indiana with the lead. And the inbound from Geronimo goes to Samar Bates. And Bates will bring it up. 
Tamar gives it to Fennessey, and Fennessey now crosses the timeline. Directs a little traffic up there. Throws it over to Tamar. Back out to Rob. Now off to Trace Jackson Davis. Nice feed to Geronimo for a slam dunk. And, man, is that special. Oh, I can't tell you how special that is. What a special player he is. They need to get him involved. He is something athletically. He was jumping way above the rim, and he's just 6'6". Here is the handoff to Hunter outside to Hankerson. Hankerson, top of the key, slides it to the right, pulls up, fires up a three, and misses badly. The rebound to Trace Jackson Davis for IU. Boy, he can rebound. Jackson Davis gets it off to Finnessy, and Finnessy now to the top. Slides it to the left side, pulls up, throws to Mar. Bates with a basketball now, brings it back outside to Rob. Tennessee again out near midcourt, 17 on the clock, plenty of time. Tennessee bounces to Galloway. Trey for the first time touches it, gives it to Geronimo. Now to Bates' left side. Bates now with seven on the clock. Now bounces to Tennessee, and Tennessee fakes, fakes again, pulls up, fires up a three. It's forced, and he got fouled on the play by Thornton. Caleb Thornton picks up his first. Good play by Rob. I mean, right there, he could have just taken the ball and shot it. Instead, he shot fake, got the defense a little bit off balance, and then comes back with the shot, and he'll shoot three. So three shots coming. Now what are they going to take a look at here? They come over to the scores table. And we'll see what this is all about. A lob dunk like they, they got a little bit ago. We'll see if they can get things going at the free throw line tonight. These are the first attempts by Indiana, and Rob will have three of them here. And the first is good. You know, I love Rob Fennessey. I mean, not only is he a great kid, I mean, he can really D up. He really gets into a defensive stance and gets after you. And he averages seven points a game. I, I just don't understand why that isn't 15 or 16 points a game because he is that good. And he, is, he just needs to have a little bit more confidence in himself because he, he, he should and could be averaging a lot more. Well, you know, as a freshman, he had the confidence, and he played like it. And his sophomore year kind of started to fade away a little bit, and last year it was not there at all. And he yeah. just lost confidence, and it's hard to get that back once you've lost it. No, no doubt about it. His second of three goes down. And he has knocked in his first two points of the ball game, and Indiana's lead now has expanded to 11. 20 to 9. Hankerson with the basketball. Brendan Hankerson has knocked in a three early, but he has had a tough time getting shots. Indiana's defense has been that good. Here with a dribble on the right side is Quet. Quet brings it back outside to Hankerson. He pulls up. Nope. New face in the game. I'll have to pick him up for you. It's Noah Kahn for the first time. Now Hankerson does have the ball. He slides to the right of the free throw line. Gives it off into Hunter. Hunter back outside to Hankerson for a long three. Off the rim short. And Tamar Bates comes up with a rebound. Great job by the big man for Indiana getting out on that shot. They move it down the floor quickly. They get it inside to Michael Durr in for the first time. Beats away with a slam and lays it in. What a great play. Really nice job there by Indiana's Michael Durr. And so, first time player on the floor gets. Has only given up nine points. Nice job defensively. Coach Woodson has to be happy about that. Here's the inbound pass to Hankerson, and Hankerson will bring it up the court. Hankerson against Fennessey gets it across the timeline. Hankerson slides it out between the circles, fakes, then lobs it away into the hands of. McCoy. McCoy gives it off into the hand, into the uh, fingertips of Noah Kahn. He drives, can't do anything with it. Gives to Hankerson. He does the same, and he can't go anywhere. Hankerson on the right wing. Stay with it. Now back outside to Kahn. He fires up a long one and banks it in. Noah Kahn gets one to go off the backboard at the very last second of the shot clock. Banks open late. 22-11, <laughs> to 11, Indiana on top. Just inside nine minutes now, the Central Indiana hot to the scoreboard. Here's Fennessey out to Jordan Geronimo. Feeds Galloway. Galloway drives the baseline. He throws it outside to Fennessey. He drives inside and lost the handle. Got it back. Kicks out to Galloway. He fakes. He drives. He throws it outside to Fennessey for a three try. Off the rim. And in. Bounces around and drops in. And Rob Fennessey has got his fifth point of the ball game. And Indiana jumps the lead to 14 at 25-11. Indiana continues its great defensive play out here. Now the ball in the hands of Keyshawn Williams. Drives it to the left, down the lane, kicks it off to McCoy. He fires a jump shot that's no good, and Geronimo clears the rebound. Off the fantasy. Rob drives into the lane, kicks in the corner. Galloway, a Westville oh, offensive that. foul on Rob Fennessey. 
Yeah, I, I, I hate that. I just really don't like that call. I mean, it's not like he ran over the guy. He touched the guy, and the guy fell down. That's but, called uh, a flop. Yeah, that's called exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what it's called, the flop. But to no avail, the officials made the call, and the ball belongs to Northern Illinois out of bounds. And Xavier Johnson checks back into the lineup for IU. Fennessey sits down for a second. And Hankerson will bring it up for Northern Illinois. 25-11 Hoosiers. Hankerson takes it right side into the hands of Kahn. Back outside it comes to Williams. Williams on the dribble against Bates. Pulls up a long three off the back of the rim. Rebound batted by Durr into the hands of Xavier Johnson. And Indiana back with the ball. Good play by Durr. If you can't get your hands on at least tip it to some one of your teammates. They get it inside to Durr and he dunks it. What a terrific play that was. Xavier Johnson with a great feed. Where is this guy came from? I mean, I didn't hear anything about him. Now, here's the pass on the right side. Kicks it out into the hands of Crump. Crump off to Williams. Keyshawn Williams now on the dribble between the circles. 27 to 11. Indiana ever so steadily pulling away. Here is Crump at a whistle and a traveling violation. Crump again moves that pivot foot, and he picks up a turnover, and Indiana will get the ball back with a television timeout taking place. 7-13 to go. And it doesn't matter, big or small, I mean, they are d up. I didn't have uh, Xavier Johnson for a basket that he had, so he's got seven points in this ball game. Here is Johnson with the ball, bounces it down into Michael Durr. Durr tries to back his way inside, and doing so, turns around with the left hand and misses the shot, an air ball, and a fight for it. He goes out of bounds. It's going to belong to Northern Illinois, but Jordan Geronimo giving a great effort there to try to get it. This kid hustles, and he is an athlete. He just plays hard all the time. You can see it in his eyes. I mean, he just really focused. You've got to find some more minutes for 22. And Jordan sits down. Race Thompson comes back in. And Trace Jackson Davis on the floor as well. Up the floor with the basketball is Noah Kahn. Kahn across the timeline feeds Williams. Deshaun Williams on the dribble. Cut off and a double team. Throws it away. Xavier Johnson with a steal. And he will take it in and slam it home. Johnson's ninth point of the ball game. And Indiana is getting some really good defensive play on top of their offensive prowess. Now left side, and whistle blows. And what do we got? Whistle, I think Race Thompson just picked up a foul. And that will be his second. You know, he got in foul trouble in the first ball game, and Mike kind of left him in there, and he got his third in the first half, and then he got his fourth early in the second half. Yeah, and it really hurt us when he wasn't in there. Uh, I hate to see see him get that foul. First of all, I didn't think it was a foul, and the official for all the way from across the floor is the one who called it when there are two others standing right on top of it that didn't do anything. So... Um, but, like Mike said, you know, race, when you get in foul trouble, you got to give me confidence that you can make good decisions out there and not not, not get another one. So let's, let's see what happens. Kingsley Okanu misses that free throw. Indiana's got the rebound. Here's Tamar Bates with a three. Bingo! Telling you, he's a big-time, big-time player. The Bates comes up with a bomb. That was about a 25-footer. 32 to 11. He just pulled up and shot it, and it went down. Here is Hankerson with the basketball. He slides to the left side. His shot blocked by Trace Jackson Davis for a second time. Back the other way comes Indiana. Xavier Johnson with it. Slides to the top, looks inside, goes to Galloway in the left wing. He brings it back out front, and Xavier will set it up again. Johnson on the dribble, Hankerson on him. Now Johnson looks, slides to the right. Drives it back to the left, cut off, throws it right side in the hands of Cop. He cross courts to Galloway, three on the way, off the rim, no good. Rebound fought for, Trace almost tracked it down, he couldn't quite do it. The official says it was touched last by Northern Illinois. Trace didn't think so, but and neither did the fans, incidentally, but that's always the case. I'm not so sure it wasn't Ooh. the uh, Northern, yeah, I think it hit Northern it Illinois, but uh, <laughs> we're moving on. Here is the pass, and it's stolen away. Xavier got a piece of that one, and he gets the ball back from Trace. Now Xavier Johnson drives, pulls up in the corner left, throws it out to Bates. He goes to Galloway, who drives it in with a little loop, missed it, and the rebound is put in with a left hand way up by Trace Jackson Davis. Eight points now for Davis, and Indiana is going on a run here. 
34 to 11. They now lead this ball game. Here's Hankerson, turns around. He clears to Crump. Bounce pass stolen away by Tamar Bates, but he stepped out of bounds. So Tamar was going to electrify this crowd with a dunk if he would have had the if he hadn't stepped out of bounds, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, we talk about fantasy needing the confidence. Tamar, he, he doesn't need any confidence, no. Bates. He's got all the confidence in the world, and I love to see it too. Yep, he is a kid that you can, he knows, he's got a big belief in himself, and that's key. I love it. And we got a short time out being taken here for whatever reason. Great improvement, especially offensively. Thornton will inbound. He finds Hankerson with a pass. He slides to the right, hands it off, and they weave it back out front in the Thornton's hands. Now back off, it comes to Hankerson. Cut off by Xavier Johnson. He throws it back out front. They drive it down low. Thornton's shot is on its way short. Not a rebound. Off in the hands of Trace Jackson Davis. Now to Xavier Johnson. Johnson will bring it up. Slows things down just for a moment. Xavier now guarded by Hankerson. Feeds Miller Cop and right back to Johnson. Bounces low to Trace Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis gets double teamed. He gets pounded out there. No call. Finally, there is one. He got hit twice that time. This time it was Hankerson who gets called for the first one. That is his second. Yeah, the one thing about Trace being a post player is he needs to hold his position on that block. So many times, by the time he ends up getting the, the basketball, he's 12 feet away from the basket where he should be about 6 feet away. He needs to do a better job of holding his position on that block. No shots taken. Indiana will inbound. Galloway in front of the NIU bench throws it in. It comes to Xavier. Off to Trace. Jackson Davis feeds on the corner to Bates. Bates pulls up. Let's another three fly. Off the rim. No good. Rebound taken out of there by Keyshawn Williams. who drives it the other way in a hurry. He throws up a runner and it goes down. That's probably the first. Well, that is the first basket in quite some time. And the first points for Keyshawn Williams tonight. 34-13 Indiana. Here comes Xavier Johnson outside of Miller Cop. Now he feeds back to Johnson, who dribbles to the right wing. Now he fires it off to Tamar Bates. Bates between the circles, goes right to Xavier, down low to Trace. His shot is knocked away out of bounds by McCoy. And Indiana will control underneath their own basket. But we got a television timeout taking place with 3.44 to go on the Central Indiana How to Do the Scoreboard here in the first half as Indiana 34 going the first ball game of the year. And he's got pretty good action, actually. I mean, the one thing I'd like to see more of it because. Good free throw shooters are more of where they kind of push it up there. You know, you push it up there. Anybody that gets it up there and kind of flicks it, they they struggle a little bit. Well, Trace just knocked down his first of the night, so he's one for one tonight. And now one for two because that one came off the front of the rim. 35 to 13. That's a better percentage right now at 50 than it was the other night. <laughs> Here's the pass outside to Hankerson. He gives it off to Keyshawn Williams. Williams drives to the right, down into the lane. Block shot by Trace again, out of bounds. Indiana, and the defensive play by Trace Jackson Davis that time was special, but the defense in this game is just as good as the offensive performance. Yeah, I think that was Thornton who thought he was going to go in there, and he had it cocked like he was going to throw it down, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen against no you're uh, right it Chris was Jackson Th yep it was Thornton it was not Williams here is Thornton with the ball he tries to drive in again and this time he is fouled and I think this one's going to go maybe against Bates we'll see it is yep so Tamar picks up the foul that is his first of the ball game and with Parker Stewart Miller cop Tamar Bates Trace Jackson Davis and Xavier Johnson on the floor for Indiana and now at the free throw line is Keyshawn Williams. And the shot is good. Third point of the ball game for Williams now. And he'll have one more. 35 to 14. Caleb Thornton getting set to come back into the ball game and he knocks it down again. Four points now for Williams. Thornton comes on, and sitting down is Hankerson, who had an early three-pointer and hasn't scored since. They have taken care of Mr. Hankerson here in the first half, much like they did against Farrakhan against Eastern Michigan in the first half on Tuesday night. Here is Xavier Johnson, and he gets fouled on the play. And it looks to me like they're going to call this personal against 
Kingsley on Okanu, who picks up his first of the game. Yeah, and Indiana now in the bonus. I mean, Indiana needs to understand this, too. Once you get in the bonus, I mean, then that's important. You keep throwing it, throwing it down inside the trace, keep really putting a lot of pressure on the defense, score points at the free throw line. You've got to do that. Johnson at the stripe, nine points so far in this first half, and now ten as he hits that free throw. Johnson's not known as a great outside shooter, but he is capable of knocking down a three every now and then. And last year he hit 32% of those threes at Pittsburgh. And it looks like this year maybe he'll at least be in that ballpark if not better. I mean, you hit 33% of your threes, it's just as good as hitting 50% of your twos. <laughs> That's right. 11 points for Johnson. He hits both free throws. He was good at the line last year, 79%. Indiana up 37 to 15. Ball to the hands of Kahn. He gives it back outside to Williams. Williams with it to Thornton. Thornton now with the basketball. Backs it out. Try to fake. Drives it in. Kicks it to the left side to Crump. Crump brings it back inside with a lane. And he lost the ball. It's stripped away. And they're going to call a foul. And I'll be honest. I thought there was a travel before the foul. Yeah, Coach Woodson not happy with that right there next to Coach Woodson. He, he, first of all, he hopped, which looked like a travel. And then uh, Miller Cop got all ball. <laughs> Woody's playing the official a little bit. <laughs> At the line, Crump. And he missed it badly. And the rebound comes off to Tamar Bates. Indiana with the basketball. Leading it big time here in the first half. 2.54 to go in the half. Xavier Johnson directs a little traffic, gets a screen, can't work off of it, dribbles it back to the left side, and now fires it right to Bates. He gets it down low to Trace. He fakes. He puts it up. He gets fouled on the play as he was trying to get inside that time, and coming down on his back was Kingsley O'Connor, who picks up his second ball. Well, right there he did a fantastic job of using the shot fake. He gave him a little shot fake, then he went down and under. He's going to get two free throws right here. But, you know, that's something that Trace Jackson ought to work on every day. For 10 minutes before practice, he ought to have somebody he, catching the basketball at the free throw line. Shot fake, drive. Shot fake, drive. You know, he needs to work on that because you're going to get to the free throw line. He's going to do only great things for you learning to shot fake. He makes that free toss, so he's hit two out of three thus far tonight. He was just three for seven in the ball game against Eastern Michigan on Tuesday. And he hits them both. So he's now he's three for four. Yeah, he's got a soft touch. He just needs to get some confidence. 39 to 15. 240 to go here in the first half. Ball brought across the timeline. And it was Thornton who did so. He gives to Williams, who feeds it out to Kahn. Now back off to Thornton. Thornton drives to the right. Down low. Throws it inside. Knocked away by Miller Cobb. And picked up in there by Chris Austin, who just checked in. And he gets it. Blocked away by Trace. His third block of the night. But Thornton's got it back. He feeds McCoy down. Or rather, uh, Quip. He's Zul Quip. And they stole it away. Here is Trace. Kicks in the corner. Bates. Three on the way. Off the rim and no good. Ball batted up in the air. Kahn comes away with it from Northern. Illinois. And back down the floor come the Huskies. Two minutes left here in the first half. And now a whistle and a foul on Tamar Bates. You got a reach-in foul that time. And that's that's kind of a you're, you're not moving your feet when that happens. Yeah, he's he just needs to move his feet get in front of him right there so he can pull it back out. But boy, the crowd was ready to explode. <laughs> they were. On that three right there. But that one went down. So to the free throw line goes Noah Kahn. He has a three-point field goal in this ball game. Looking for his first point at the stripe here tonight. And that one drops. He's got his fourth point. So four points now for Noah Kahn. Indiana's lead, 39-16. to 16. Hoosiers have dominated the first half of this ball game. And the second one on its way for Northern Illinois, and Khan hits them both. He's got his fifth point, and the lead now 39-17 Hoosiers. And Miller Kopp will check, will inbound to Trey Galloway, who just checked in for IU. Galloway will bring it up. Trey gets it across the timeline, finds Xavier Johnson. He goes left side with a pass. It goes to Parker Stewart. Down to the corner. 
Parker wings it back out to the wing, comes away with it to Xavier Johnson. Johnson bounces the trace on a give and go, and he tried to dunk it, but it went off the back of the rim. 39-17, but Northern Illinois in the attack. Trying to get inside to Austin. He puts it up, and it's blocked away by Trace again. Saved by Parker Stewart. Into the hands of Xavier Johnson. Feeds off to Galloway. Back to Parker for a three. Off the mark, no good. And again, this crowd ready to explode in a big way. Couldn't quite do it. Now, ball in the hands of Keyshawn Williams. He's trying to work his way inside. There's going to be a foul called, I think, on Parker. And Stewart picks up the personal on him as first. You can see their, their entire offense is just basically, you know, around the three-point circle. I mean, the, the drive handoff handle. I got, I got to tell you, over the last four or five years, I got so tired of watching that dribble handoff, dribble handoff, <laughs> dribble handoff as Indiana ran it. I'm glad Woody doesn't run that. <laughs> I can't argue. Ball in the hands of Williams, and he knocks down the free throw, his fifth point of the game, and he has hit three straight from the line in this contest now. I think they've probably made more free throws than they've made field goals. It's getting close. Second one on its way. Good. Six points now for Keyshawn Williams. Thornton checks back in for Hankerson. 112 left here in the half, and Indiana with a 39 19 lead. Miller Kopp will trigger the inbound. Cop gets it in and into the hands of Xavier Johnson, who gets fouled immediately by Khan. And Noah Khan picks up his first foul of the game. Xavier Johnson has really looked outstanding here tonight. I mean, he's been able to hit shots when they've come to him. He's hit his free throws when he's been to the line. He's defensively, he's been tremendous as the entire team has been. But that's the kind of leader, I mean, that he's looking for. I mean, I obviously played with one of the great leaders of all time in Isaiah Thomas. I think of Quinn Buckner, but you need somebody like that who who you really believe in and, and can lead your team. Well, he is a a personality. He is an alpha male, and he is strong, and he can back it up. And his second shot is on its way and good. And he's got 13 points in this one as he continues to play really well tonight for Indiana, 41 to 19. Ball being brought up by Khan across the timeline. Flies it off into the hands of Thornton. Thornton gets it back out front. They find Williams on the left side. He brings it back outside to Khan. Khan now drives on Galloway into the lane. Throws it up. It was going to be blocked again, but it went out of bounds. Khan couldn't, he couldn't really, he just released the ball and it never got halfway to the rim, but it just went out of bounds. Yeah, they haven't gotten the memo. The 23 is pretty big, long, and strong in there. And here's the thing about Trace, uh, Trace Jackson Davis. He is playing harder in these first two games than I saw him play in any of the previous two years. I he agree. just plays hard. And that is something to see because that makes him special. Here's Galloway with it on the right side. Foul call. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the position I'm talking about. He needs to get in that position and not allow the people to move him off the block. I mean, that is your position. You know, fight for that position down there, down low. So many times we give it to him, and by the time we give it to him, he's 12 and 15 feet away from the basket, and it's not really, we're not really getting the ball to him in the post. Trace at the free throw line, knocks it down. Yeah, I mean, his shooting touch is very good, and his, his technique, and everything. I think it's just confidence. I mean, you have to focus in on what you're doing as far as a free throw shooter. And the second one's good. 13 points now for Trace Jackson Davis. And he's hit all but one of his free throws, and he's had six tries at it. 43-19. Indiana's on top. Dominating this first half. Thornton fires it out to Khan. He drives right. Stolen away by Xavier Johnson. Down the floor they come. Xavier lobs it up, and Trace comes up with a rebound off the backboard. That puts it up and in, and another foul. What a terrific job. And Indiana continues to just annihilate Northern Illinois here in the early going of this one. 24.6 seconds to go. They lead it 45 to 19 and a chance for Trace Jackson Davis to get at the line. And it's really a good play by, by Johnson, even though, you know, he's kind of throwing it to nowhere. He's, he knows his big man is bigger, stronger, and be, going to be able to come down with that basketball no matter what, which Trace did. Made a nice little shot fake, took it up, and had a chance for a three-point play. So Trace will go to the free-throw line. Jordan Geronimo's checked back in. Stewart, Galloway, Johnson. 
And Jackson Davis at the line, knocks it in. He's got 16 points. And has he changed from night one to night two wow. in free throw shooting? And every other way. Here down the floor to hurry is Williams. Shot blocked away again by Jackson Davis. At least his fourth, maybe his fifth. And here's Trace getting decked. And another foul will be called. Jackson Davis did not like it. And Zul Kweft was the guy who knocked him to the floor. Yeah, I think you'll see the officials take a look at this one on the monitor. I think that he kind of tripped him on purpose. Uh, I, I didn't see the play. You can see he pushes him right there. He just pushed him from the back. Right. And he's shot eight free throws in this ball game now. He's hit six of them. And I was going for important parts of the game. What, 12? I said 10 or 12. <laughs> And he hits the second, so he's got 17 points now. Well, give him a lot of credit, too. He could have easily got up and went and chest bumped or, you know, something. And uh, he kind of held his composure. And uh, great kid. Yeah, it, he did He did walk over to him. It is something. so fun when you get <laughs> just get plowed, plowed into the basket like that. Here's the inbound. Parker Stewart finds Xavier, kicks it out to Galloway for a three. Oh, that's all. Not good. And the rebound comes off to... Northern Illinois, they're going to call a foul on Jordan Geronimo. So Geronimo picks up the first one. That will be his first of the ball game. And this last 15 seconds of this contest uh, in the first half, they've taken about five minutes. Well, and in that situation right there, they're looking to take a three, but you, you need to either have, you know, one, one of your three-point shooters. Galloway is not your three-point shooter. He's more of a creator and a defensive player. And that free throw is good by Williams. So Keyshawn Williams has got his seventh point, and that's where he's scoring most of his points tonight. He's got five of his seven from the line. Well, like I said, they're, they're, they've scored more points from the free throw line than they've scored from the field. And the second one missed. And the rebound, Trace Jackson Davis to Seven Xavier seconds. Johnson. Six. On the floor, Xavier gets it to the left side, tries to penetrate inside, lost the handle, and they call him for travel. So he caught up to it. Down to 1.2, and Northern Illinois will basically pass it in, and they won't have much time to do anything else. And that's the end of the first half. 47-20 at halftime, Indiana absolutely dominating the Northern Illinois Huskies, who beat the University of Washington as we get, get going into this season. So far, he's not been able to knock one down. But uh, let's see how their intensity is defensively. That will really tell the story. Northern's got the ball to start the second half in the hands of Wilkers, Williams right now. And Williams takes it to the left side, cut off by Xavier Johnson. He feeds it off to Hankerson, who was really held scoreless after he hit the first three of the ball game. Hankerson drives to the left wing. Now he pulls up, fires away, misses short. Grace Thompson comes up with a rebound. Miller Kopp hit the deck. Kind of banged his head, it looked like, but I think he's okay. Here's Mark Parker Stewart on the drive. Throws it outside. It comes into the hands of Xavier Johnson. Off to Miller Kopp. He fakes, gives the Parker in the corner for three. Off the mark, no. Great Parker. shot, fake. Yep, he hasn't been. He has not knocked down his threes here tonight. But it's good that he's took it. You know, if you're not a shooter, shoots. That's that's the story. Now the ball in the hands of a new face in the ball game here. I think that's Edward Manuel for the first time tonight. He starts the second half. Hankerson gives it right side to Williams. Williams look inside for McCoy. McCoy turns around. Tries to back down Trace Jackson Davis. Fakes, puts it up on the left hand, and missed it badly. Indiana comes up with a loose ball rebound. Hop gives it to Xavier Johnson, and he'll bring it across the timeline. Johnson with a basketball. Slowly on the left side. Looks for somebody to come over to the left. He drives to the right. Feeds Race Thompson, top of the key. Dumps it into Trace, and it's a bad pass stolen away. And with the steal is the new face in the ballgame, Manuel. They throw it back the other way, but they missed the shot at the other end. Crump missed it, and Race Thompson with a rebound. Now to Xavier. Johnson throws it outside to Stewart. He goes to cop in the corner. Miller now drives into the lane. Throws up a little runner, won't go. Rebound tapped out. Miller got it back, puts up a 14-footer, and this one goes down. First basket of the night for Miller Cop. Indiana, 49. Northern, 20. 18 minutes, five seconds left here in the final half of play just underway in half number two. Here is Williams on the right wing. Drives into the paint. Throws it outside, threw it away. Nobody there. Yeah, nobody there. Indiana's defense continued to just wear down Northern Illinois. Williams comes out of the ball game, and Thornton comes in to replace him. And Race Thompson inbounds to Xavier Johnson, and he'll bring it up. 
probably get you a set play right here. Woody talking to his team, probably get a back screen. Bounce pass goes down low to Race Thompson, puts it up, and a whistle on a foul. And Crump is going to get nailed on the personal. Anthony Crump picks up his first foul of the game. You know, that's what I really like to see. I mean, it's probably not the prettiest thing in basketball, but see how he held his position on the block. He got a bounce pass. He took one dribble, gathered himself, went up strong. He, he wasn't able to make the shot, but he gets fouled, and uh, he'll, he'll shoot two free throws. Race with a three-point field goal in the first half. At the second one he took in this ball game, but he knocked it down. That one, the free throw goes down. That's a good sign. That's four points for him. Why are why are free throws either if you're either miss one guy misses and everybody misses, or one guy hits and everybody hits? Well, it's just a it's a confidence factor, but also I mean it's it's a rhythm thing. You have to get in a rhythm. You know, you see the guys that are really good. It's like a, put, a good putter. They do the same routine every time. That's why I'm not a good putter. <laughs> 50, 51 to 20. Indiana on top. Both free throws down for a race. Thompson is a drive down low and a foul on Xavier Johnson. This time he got the chest into him pretty hard. And Caleb Thornton will go to the line. Or actually, he'll be out of bounds. Caleb Thornton, number two, is fast. I mean, they've done a good job of keeping him down tonight. But right there, uh, Johnson gave him a chest bump. Inbound, comes into Hankerson, lets it fly from 17. This one won't go down, but a rebound is put up by McCoy, and now there's a foul inside called on Xavier. And Johnson doesn't believe it, but that's his first, uh, make it that second foul of the ball game. And that's going to bring Rob Finnessy off the bench. So Xavier sits down, Finnessy comes in. Xavier was tremendous in the first half. Here's an inbound pass that's thrown out of bounds. That's just a bad pass because that guy's wide open. Indiana did a very poor job right there defensively, and they should have had a layup or a dunk, and they made a bad pass, and uh, Indiana feels very fortunate as they go the other way. Rob Fennessy will bring it up. Rob gets it across the timeline. A little verbal direction out there. Feeds Trace Jackson Davis. Back off to Rob. Fennessy looks at left. Slides it down with a bounce pass to Race Thompson. Thompson feeds it back out to Parker Stewart. He drives in the lane. He got bumped pretty good by Hankerson, and they're going to call the foul. And on Hankerson, that will be his third of the ball game. Now Thornton is going to check back in. This is going to put Hankerson on the bench with three fouls. And he's had a tough night after scoring 28 against Washington, an average in 14 last year. He's been held to three points thus far. Yeah, he's looking for shots, and there, there aren't any there. Topple inbound, finds Parker Stewart top of the key. He gets it back to Miller. Miller cop dribbles it out between the circles. Now still on the move, then fires to race Thompson. Little 16, 17-footer that's off the back of the rim, no good. Now the rebound comes off the manual. They feed up the floor to Thornton. Thornton gets it across the timeline, slows things up between the circles on the dribble. Slides to the left side with the move, down low, throws it in the corner at the other end to Williams, then back inside to McCoy. McCoy backs down Trace, puts it up, and he blocks another shot, his seventh of the game. Here is Finnessy outside to Parker Stewart for three. Off the mark, and the rebound race. Tops it back up and in. What a great job by Race, not only to follow that shot, but you see how he got it, and he went right back up real quick before anybody was able to gather themselves. Now Thornton with the ball, guided by Finnessy. Slides to the left, turns around, holds on to it, throws it into McCoy, then back outside to Williams. Williams with the drive to the right, pulls up another whistle. They're starting to get a little ticky-tacky now with the fouls, it appears, as Parker Stewart picks up his second. Yeah, between the two teams, that's five or six fouls they've called. It's not even been four minutes yet going here in the second half. They let them play pretty much in the first half. So things have changed here a little bit in the second half, at least it seems so. Here is Thornton giving it up to Kahn, who just checked in. They find Williams on the left side. Williams holds on to it, gives it back to Thornton. Thornton bounces it right side to Kahn. He'll fire a three. It's off the mark. Grace Thompson with a rebound. Race brings it down the court. Got two early fouls in the ballgame. Didn't see much action in the first half, and he just made another bad pass. Stolen away. Thornton drives all the way to the hole, puts it up on the left hand, missed it, and Race Thompson pulls it out of there. Nice defense by Indiana again on the fast break. 
Here's Fennessey the other way. The Miller cop in the corner. Dumps it into race. It was deflected out of bounds. It will belong to IU underneath uh, their own basket. See, that's not a great pass. He didn't have enough on it. But still, Trace needs to hold his position and not allow that defender to come around. So we have to take everything that Northern Illinois is trying to do. They take it away from him. Miller cop will inbound. Cop looks. Now whistle blows. And Khan gets called for a foul on Parker Stewart, I think. Whatever the case, Khan picks up the first, though that will be his second. Or actually, that was the third on Khan, apparently. So he's got three now. In batting will be Kopp. He gets it into Rob Fennessy in the left corner. He brings it on a drive to the baseline. And another bump foul is called. As Rob got up in the air, and he was fouled out there by McCoy. That's his first foul of the game, I think. Well, we saw both coaches talking to the refs as they walked off the floor at halftime, and I'm sure the referees discussed it among themselves that the reason that one play got done was because they were a little too physical, and they're calling it here in the second half. Fennessey puts up a shot on the inbound and hits the front of the rim, and they knock it out of bounds. It's going to belong to... Northern Illinois. The inbound pay comes to Williams, and Williams will bring it up. Keshawn Williams against Finnessy gets it across the timeline. Pulls up, gives the ball off to Kingsley Okanu. He hands it off to Hunter, who's back in there for the first time in a long time. Hankerson now drives. Ball knocked away on a steal. Nice job by Indiana's defense. Parker finds Miller Cop. Throws it up there, misses. But throwing it back down is Trace Jackson Davis. That won't count. I think they're going to call a foul on the rebound. Yeah, I think Cop's going to get a shoot two free throws. But, I mean, Trace Jackson is just everywhere. I mean, I didn't even see him coming down the floor, and all of a sudden there he is, and he dunks it, dunks it back in. I mean, the guy is just he's really fast for a man that's six eight six nine the way he gets up and down the floor is tremendous third point of the night for miller cop as he hits the first of two free throws here indiana increases the lead right now 34 point advantage by indiana and the second shot also good four points for miller cop indiana 55 20 leaders over the huskies and now kingsley Okanu will inbound. He finds Hankerson, and he'll bring it up. Parker Stewart on him defensively. Hankerson drives it to the right. Cut off by Parker. Now he drives right again. Again cut off. Slides the pass out to Hunter. Hunter goes outside to Williams. Williams top of the lane. Trying to find room out there. Ten seconds. Fires up an off-balance shot that's no good, but a foul is called on Indiana. Yeah, shot clock down to ten, and they've done a they've done a tremendous job. I and mean, Parker did a did a tremendous job. Parker Stewart did a tremendous job on the ball defending right there, and so did Fennessy. And then all of a sudden he leaned into him at the last second. And Fennessy's got his third foul of the ball game. So Kishon Williams has done almost all of his damage from the free throw line. Five of his seven points at the stripe. And they missed that one. He's missed his last two. He missed the last one he shot in the first half. And the first one he, he shoots here in the second half. And McCoy and Hankerson both sit down once again. For Northern Illinois, they bring in Chris Austin, a 6'9 senior. And that second shot is good by Williams. He's now got his eighth point of the ball game. Up the floor in a hurry comes Rob Fennessey, lost the handle, got it back in trouble. And I think he called timeout, or they call jump ball. So jump ball is called. Should be in the end of all. Yep, possession turn goes to IU, so no damage done there. Mike Woodson barking some instructions to his guys. Here's Miller copped inbound. Throws it in to Trace Jackson Davis. And Trace now dribbles against Austin down low, puts it up, draws the foul. And Trace will go to the free throw line as he continues to play extre extremely well throughout this ballgame. Yeah, he continues to allow people to, to come over him, though, and get a hand on that basketball. He needs to hold position, let the ball come, and then reach up at the last second. Don't reach early because you give that defender a chance to knock that ball away. And that free throw is no good off the back of the rim. Got a little too strong with that. That's his third miss of the night, but he has hit seven out of the ten. Yeah, he needs to take a deep breath, slow down a little bit. Good stroke. And that one rims out. Just open. 55 21. Keyshawn Williams with the dribble outside for Northern Illinois. 
Tries to slide right. Fennessey on him defensively. Gives up the dribble. And now it's a battle for it. Double dribble. Double, double dribble call. Nobody from Indiana touched it, Keith nope. John. That's why you're upset. <laughs> He tried not to touch it again, but then he, when he did, it was over. Yeah, he handed it off, and his, his guy didn't reach for it. It hits the floor, and then he finally touched it, double dribble. So the inbound comes to Fennessey, and Rob will have it. He'll bring it up against Khan. Noah Khan is defending Rob Fennessey as the pass comes to Race, then right back to Rob, drives it down low to Trace. Trace holds on the baseline, works on Austin down low with a hook shot. Couldn't get it rolling. Oh! Grayson was some kind of tip in his ninth point of the ball game. Great job by Race Thompson to hang with it. Just barely got it over the rim. 57 21 Indiana. Here's Hankerson driving. He finds Austin down low. He misses the jump shot. Race Thompson clears the board. He got fouled by Hankerson, and that's his fourth. I mean, if you can get 12, 14, 6, 15 points a good night from Race Thompson, you, you're going to get your 10 or 12 rebounds every night just because that's the kind of player he is. I mean, he's doing it. That was a tremendous tip here on the on the other end. I thought they called the foul on Hankerson, but they actually called it on Kings and the uh, Okano, and that's his third of the ball game. Tamar Bates coming off the bench for Indiana. So Bates getting set to check in, and he'll come in for Parker Stewart. You know, give Parker Stewart a hand tonight. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't had a great night offensively shooting the basketball, and that's what he's kind of known for. But defensively, he has really done an outstanding job defending out front. Grace Thompson knocks down that free throw. He's got his 10th point of the ball game, and he has hit all three of the free throws he shot here this evening. So 10 now for Race. Eyes the second, on its way, and off the rim, no good. Rebound comes into the hands of O'Connor. 58-21, Indiana. Second half offensively. Just been kind of a little methodical compared to what it was in the first half. Here's Hankerson in trouble. That's got to be a five-second call. Yes, sir. Good defense by Indiana once again. Yeah, good defense. They picked the ball up. As soon as they picked the ball up, Indiana just really clamped down. You shut off shut off anywhere to throw that, that basketball. Just a tremendous job defensively. Staying focused here in the second half, even with a big lead. Indiana's defense has just been superb. Northern with 21 points here and just 13 and a half minutes left in this game. Here's Tamar Bates with a basketball. Dribbles it outside near midcourt. Finds Miller Cop. Cop holds on to the perimeter. Now drives down low to the baseline, gives it down inside to Tracy, feeds race down low, and the ball got stripped away. Back the other way, this is Crump with it. Crump gives it off to Noah. Noah Kahn with the basketball, takes it to the left, fakes the bounce pass, then throws it outside to Williams. Deshaun Williams drives against Tamar. Tamar cuts him off nicely. Good quickness on Tamar's part. Here's Khan the other way. Fires up a three. High off the rim. No. Rebound batted away from Grace Thompson. And it will be a foul on McCoy. And that will be his fourth. Yeah, he just slapped Race right there. Race went up with both hands, had his hand, hands on that basketball, and McCoy just slapped it, slapped down on him, and Race will shoot, shoot one and one. Here comes Miller, cop to the sideline. And Trey Galloway has been inserted. And Race Thompson will go to the stripe. Thompson with 10 points in this ball game. Three out of four at the line so far tonight. And he has a three-point field goal that started the ball game for Indiana, or was quite early in it. And he knocks down that freeway. Race with 11. Race sat out quite a bit of the first half with two fouls. Uh, after he got his second, Mike pulled him out of there. Unlike what he did the other night, he says, I'm going to have to get away from that because i got to trust him. He's not going to pick up a third, but he, the other night he did. Tonight, not so much because he was out of the lineup. Race hits them both. He's got 12 points now. And Indiana's lead balloons to 60-21. 41-point advantage by Indiana. 12.35 to go. Here's William. Pulls back, throws it in the corner to Crump. Crump tries to work on Race Thompson, spins his way into the lane, throws up a little runner, and it's going to be a goal <laughs> 10 on Trace Jackson Davis. Yeah, he, he knew that too. He, he waited and waited for it to come around there, and uh, there's no doubt that was the goal 10. And Race will get a rest here, and Jordan Geronimo checks in. So Indiana, three new faces in the lineup, actually four now in the second half. Trace is the only guy still playing out there. 
Here's the pass up. I'm talking about starters now. Here's Tamar Bates with the basketball. The freshman on the dribble with the left hand. Slides to the left. Pulls back to the right. Throws it down to the corner to Geronimo. He fires up a three. Got it! Hello! Jordan Geronimo's fifth point of the night. A three there. And he's not afraid to shoot the three, and he can knock him down. I asked the coaches today, you know, what can he shoot the basketball? They said, yeah, he, said, he just needs some confidence, but he shoots it well in practice. Here's Williams with it on the dribble against Finnessy. Williams drives it back off to the right side, then drives down inside with a little runner and knocks it down. Deshaun Williams' second field goal of the game is 10 point. Everything else has been from the free throw line. 63-25, 11.35 left. Here's Rob Fennessey on the dribble. He slides to the left, pulls back out, gets cut off, fires it in the left corner to Geronimo. Geronimo looks inside, can't find his man, and he dribbled it off his chest, and it went out of bounds. Mike Woodson says he didn't think so, but the official says that's what happened. 63-25 in the inbound. For Northern Illinois, F finds uh, Williams, and Kashawn Williams will bring it up. Williams will get it across the timeline. Slides to the left side of the wing. Out to Hunter. Hunter gives it off to Hankerson. They weave it out front to Williams. And Williams now takes it to the right side of the circle. Then down low he goes. Pulls up. Let's go. A fadeaway shot that misses. And Trey Galloway's got the rebound. Galloway brings it across the timeline. He Nobody guarding Rob. Rob you got to take it in there. <laughs> he just wow. stood out there with yeah. it, waiting for everybody else to set up. Off the right side, it comes to Bates, then he gets it into Trace. Jackson Davis now gets a double team, throws it into Geronimo. He tried to feed it to Tamar down low, but Crump got a hand out of it, batted it out of bounds, and Indiana will control with nine on the shot clock underneath their own hoop. Yeah, really good idea right there by Geronimo. He came up to the free throw line when they were double teaming Trace. They tried to get the ball inside to uh, Bates, but uh, they were able to knock it away. And Rob Finnessy for IU. And the inbound play will be made by Galloway for the Hoosiers underneath their own hoop. And Galloway lobs it to Trace for an alley-oop. Oh, <laughs> easy. Boy. Jackson Davis gets his 19th point of the ball game. His first two of the second half, believe it or not. We've gone almost 10 minutes. And a man for Northern Illinois stepped out of bounds. And Indiana's going to get the ball back in another Husky turnover. Yeah, I thought that uh, Coach Woodson would try to get Durr back in the game. I and mean, he did such so many good things in the first half when he played this three or four minutes. See if Indiana doesn't try to throw it in there and get some more good play out of him. Here comes Fennessey across the timeline. Michael Durr replacing Trace. And now Rob takes it to the right. Cut off. Gives it back to Geronimo. Downloaded Durr inside. Has his shot blocked as he tried to put it up. He was off balance when he did so. He has not practiced much. And obviously he's not played hardly at all. Uh, not in the Bahamas. And maybe, I don't even know if he played in that practice game they had down in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, they threw it in there to him. He's in the perfect spot. But he needed to gather himself and go up strong. And he went up weak and they threw that one out of bounds. Here's Fennessey. On the dribble, gets a screen from Durr, drives inside, lost the handle, and he has it taken away by Hankerson. Hankerson brings it across the timeline for the Huskies. Indiana got back nicely on defense. Hankerson drives to the top, bounces to Keyshawn Williams. He drives up into the lane, throws up a runner, and banks it in. Keyshawn Williams, second basket of the second half at his 12 point of the ball game. 65-27. Indiana still with a dominant performance here tonight thus far. Rob Fennessey with the ball. Moves it out front. Looks inside. Bounces down low to Durr. Durr backs his way inside. Puts up a shot. Banks it in. It's going to be called an offensive foul. And it will not count. And Mike Durr thought that he had position that time. Uh, not so sure he didn't, but he may have, when he turned, he may have banged him pretty good. Now we're going to get to see a replay here. I'm not so sure that was a foul. Yeah, I don't know either. And I, if I'm Coach Woods and I'm telling Durr, or you did an outstanding job, we got the ball to you, put it in the basket, that's exactly what we want. Forget about the foul. Don't worry about it. And now they're reviewing again. He possibly called that a yeah. flagrant foul. Flagrant one is what they called it. And the man who knocks it in is Okanu. Okanu. And Kingsley Okanu gets his second point of the game. He had a free throw in the first half. He'll get another one here. And the ball will belong to Northern as well when he misses the second one. 
then I assume Northern will get the basketball, or will they not? Yeah, shoot two free throws and get the ball. That's what I thought, but the way they were handling it, it looked like it was maybe going to go to Indiana, but it is not. They'll take it out of bounds. Crump will inbound. He looks, he bounces it into Keyshawn Williams, who looks like the steadiest of all the Northern Illinois players for their ball club. He's been in there the most, and he's played the steadiest of anybody. Hankerson gets the ball back. Hankerson out between the circles now against Finnessy. Down on the left side to Hunter. He throws it out to Crump. Crump drives inside. Block shot by Jordan Geronimo, but I guess they get him for a... They're going to call it a blocking foul of some kind. So Geronimo picks up his second foul of the night. We have 9.16 to go. You notice Woody never sits down. He sit, he, if the only time he sits down is in the huddles. Crump yeah. knocks in that free throw, his third point of the game. Of course, he, he looks dapper. He looks like an NBA coach there, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, got the, he's got the stylish duds on. Always wears a tie. Second shot's good. Crump hits them both. That's his fourth point of the game. 65-30. Here's the inbound. It comes to Tamar Bates. Bates up court to Rob Finnessy. Left side pass to Galloway. Trey will fire it up there and hit it. Trey Galloway has his fifth point of the ball game. And Indiana jumps the lead to 68-30 to only briefly because <laughs> Northern comes right back with a quick field goal. And it's 68-32. to Galloway finds Geronimo outside. Now he feeds Galloway in. Oh, very and nice. What a nice feed by Geronimo. Great play by Galloway. Good cut, good screen, but a great look by Geronimo to find him inside. Seven points for Trey Galloway all of a sudden. 70 32, Indiana. 8 34 to go. Here is Keyshawn Williams. Pulls up, fires up a short shot that misses. The rebound tipped to the hands of Crump. Anthony Crump came up with it. And then we got him standing out or stepping out of bounds. And Indiana will get the ball back. Another turnover for Northern Illinois. That is their 17th turnover in the game. I guess the only negative here is Indiana's got 10 now. They have six in the second half. Yeah, whenever you get a big lead like this, it's pretty easy to get a little bit sloppy. <laughs> yes, it is. Across the timeline, Bates finds Geronimo. Geronimo comes back outside to Durr. Durr holds on to it. Dribbles it once, twice, then gives it up to Geronimo. And he feeds Durr again. Down low, puts it up. And they're going to call a block and a jump ball. So it was he basically said he was tied up. Durr hit that shot, too. Yeah, I mean, that's two shots that they've taken away from him. He might have traveled on that one before they ever got to the jump ball. I thought that, I thought that too, but I wasn't going to say anything. But you, you've exposed him. <laughs> 70-32. Indiana on top. Here's Hunter. And oh, Rob Fennessey Fennessey. Came and picked his pocket. Fennessey brings it back the other way for IU. Double team comes. He throws it over to Tamar Bates in the corner to Galloway. Fakes the long one. Gives it back to Tamar for a three. Off the rim no good. Indiana needs to have those start to go down and give tomorrow a little confidence here. And they just threw it away again. Nope, they're going to say Indiana yeah, touched Tennessee, the back. Tennessee knocked that one away right in. So now we've got a television timeout with 7.40 to go. Things have slowed offensively, but not so much defensively for the... They play a different style than anybody's used to, you know, that uh, that what Arkansas used to play. That's the head coach, and they're going to press you for 94 feet. They're going to play for 40 minutes like that. It's crazy. Deshaun Williams just knocks down a two-pointer. His 14th point of the game. He continues to be the steadiest of all the Northern Illinois players on this Husky ball club. Now Michael Durr has the basketball, throws it outside into the hands oh, he's open. of Geronimo, then down low to Bates, and he lost the ball with the strip uh, taken care of by Thornton that time, and Northern's got it back. 70 to 34. Now, ball in the hands outside of Thornton. Takes it to the left side, drives to the wing, dumps it inside. It goes to Okanu. He misses the shot. The rebound's tipped away, however, into the hands of Emmanuel. He throws it outside. It finds Thornton. He almost lost it. Got it back. Throws it outside to Williams. Williams now fakes, then drives into the lane. Little scoop shot, no good. A whistle blows and a foul called against Indiana. And they're going to whistle this one on Michael Durr. So that'll be his first foul of the ball game. 
his second to personal. And Chris Austin is about to check in for Northern. Now, for the first time in two ball games now, we're about to see Christian Lander, a 6'2 redshirt freshman from Evansville Whites High School, come into this ball game as Williams knocks down that free throw. 15 points now for Williams. Rob Finnessy sits down. Rob with five points in the first half. Did not score in the second half, but his defense is always a critical factor. Second shot by Williams is good, and Keyshawn Williams, steadiest of anybody on Northern's team, has got 16 points. 16 of their 36. 70-36 score, Indiana. Indiana looking for somebody. Finally, it's Geronimo finding Dury. He gets it back out to Bates. Tamar goes left side in the hands of Lander. Lander with the basketball. A hook pass is deflected and stolen away. And the ball into the hands of Thornton for Northern Illinois. He drives down low, turns around, spins, gives it outside to Williams for a three try. He misses this one. And Geronimo trying to get that long rebound. Galloway was right there. He could have pulled it in, but Geronimo got it, got in front of him, got a hand on it, but he was up in the air and couldn't control it. Yeah, the two Indiana guys fighting over it right there. That's when you need to communicate, talk to one another. Inbound will come from Thornton. He gets it into Williams. Williams in the left corner, throws it outside to Thornton. Thornton now between the circles, slides to the right, down into the lane, scoops it up. This is the shot, another foul call. And this one will go against Lander. Yeah, it's gotten real sloppy here. You got a lot of different guys coming in the game. Uh, you know, they, they were so working together with the first, first half and the first... 10 minutes of the second half, you know, really defensively talking to one another. Now you got some different guys in there. Thornton and misses the free one. Things have broken down a little bit, but still an outstanding effort by Indiana tonight uh, taking care of business. And Mike Woodson taking a look at a lot of different folks tonight. Michael Durr getting his first appearance. Lander now in there as, as well. Seeing a lot of the younger players in this Indiana basketball team. That second shot does go down. And back the other way comes Indiana. It's 70-37. Pass comes left side to Bates. Bates holds on to it. Dribbles a couple times. Clears it off to Galloway. Still working on the perimeter. Off into Durr. Durr turns around. Hands it back to Lander. Lander drives to the baseline. Fires up a jump shot. Missed it short. Got his own. It had his own rebound for a second, then it gets batted out of bounds, and it was last touched by a Northern Illinois player, and Indiana will control. 18 on the shot clock, so plenty of time. Khan now comes into the ball game. Out goes Thornton for Northern. They've got Chris Austin and Anthony Crump both in there. They're big players in the contest right now. The inbound. Galloway finally throws it in, and it's deflected out of bounds by Austin. It'll still belong to Indiana. Nobody was moving that time, Ted. No, uh, everybody kind of standing around offensively or waiting for somebody to go one-on-one. -on -one. Galloway gets the inbounds to Lander, and Christian holds on, turns around. One dribble, gives it up, comes to Bates. Down low it goes to Durr. Durr now holds on to it, tries to back his way in against Austin. Puts it up with the left hand, wouldn't go, had it rim out. Here's Krupp on the rebound the other way for Northern. Drives all the way to the hole, throws it up, and it's blocked away by Geronimo. Oh, no! That's a goal, 10? No way! And this crowd is not happy. Mike Woodson saying, how could you possibly call that? A goaltend. We've had a couple goaltends here tonight, but not that one. That one close. Geronimo got that one way early. There's no way that was a goaltend. This guy is saying something about I could have called a foul. I don't know how you could have done that. <laughs> I, that's an excuse maker there. And we got another whistle now, and, and a foul is called. <laughs> gets nailed on this one. That's his fourth. Or is that his fifth? That might be his fifth. Here's Bates. Leal. Welcoming Anthony Leal onto the floor. And Crump goes to the sideline. So does Khan. Manuel stays in the ball game. Right now, it's Christian Lander at the free throw line looking for his first point of the season and got it. 
Christie was good at the stripe last year. He hit seven out of eight from the line. And his brief assignments last season. Takes the big deep breath, trying to give Indiana its 72nd point of the night, and does exactly that. Lander with his first two points of the game, and it's 72-39. A steal on the inbound by Lander, and he puts it in. So Christian Lander all of a sudden make his presence felt. Four quick points for him. 74-39. Here's a drive by Williams down low. Throws it up. It went down. They're going to count it. And Keyshawn Williams continues to be the lifeblood of this Northern team from a scoring perspective. He's got his 18th point of the game. Yeah, he's been a little bit difficult to handle. He likes his right hand, likes to go right, but he jukes you left and then comes back right as he did right there. And then he does a nice job of getting to the basket. He's got 20 of the four, 20 of the 41 points that they have. So now 21. As he made that free throw, and it's 74-42. Here's the inbound to Galloway. Galloway trying to bring it up against the pressure. Finds Geronimo, then they go to Lander, and Christian gets it across the timeline. Inside five minutes left in this contest. Galloway gives it to Durr. Michael Durr on the perimeter throws out to Geronimo. He feeds Lander. Lander circles, pulls up, throws it out to Leal. Anthony drives right, pulls up, bounces inside to Geronimo. Back to Leal and now outside to Lander. Four on the shot clock. Lander's going to have to force a three, and he missed it. The rebound, Leal inside. He fakes. He puts it up. Got it. Great play. Anthony, Great shot fake. Anthony Leal's first two points of the ball game and of the season. Back the other way, left side, Williams again, and a spin move that he gets called for traveling for. The coaching staff has nothing but great things to say about Leo. About he, he brings it every day to practice. He brings it with a smile on his face. He's not complaining about playing time or anything else. He's a great part of this Indiana basketball team, and that was a great play right there. Great rebound, great shot fake, and got the bucket. Inbound will come from Jordan Geronimo. Geronimo fires it in. It comes to Trey Galloway. Full court pressure being applied now by Northern Illinois, but Galloway breaks it, takes it all the way to the hole, lays it up, and missed it. Rebound, Austin. Galloway hit the deck pretty hard at the other end. Here he drives it, left side. This is Crump now with a basketball. Crump now trying to take it inside, throws it down low and threw it out of bounds. And another turnover. Indiana's got 13 in this game, 21 for Northern Illinois, and we're down to our final television timeout with 3.58 to go, and it's Indiana 76, Northern Illinois 42. Back at that running clock. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't object. Yeah, exactly. That. Inbound will come from Geronimo for Indiana. He gets it into Galloway. Trey Galloway is really a good ball handler and does a lot of really good things out there, but he gets out of control sometimes. Yeah. That's his biggest issue. Here's Leal with a three, and he goes at home. Anthony Leal buries his fifth point of the ball game. He gets his first playing time tonight, and he has really done a nice job here. Yeah, and I think he could be a weapon, especially against people. There he had got, got beat on the back door right there, but <laughs> but uh, he could be a weapon against teams that play a lot of zones. Manuel is the man who dunks it as he got away from Anthony Leal that time, and Leal, now Galloway has it on the right side. 79-44 Indiana with 320 left. Christian Lander with a basketball. Lander brings it to the left side, then circles back to the right. Now holds on to it between the circles. Slides it left. We've got another new face in there. The last guy who hadn't played any from a scholarship perspective, Logan Duncan in the ball game. Now here's three from Lander, and he hit it. And Christian Lander gets his seventh, seventh point of the game, his first three of the year. And it's 82-44. to 44. And all of a sudden, Indiana's third teamers, so to speak, are lighting it up. Here's a t- shot inside, knocked away to Galloway. Down the floor to Leo, the pass got away from him, and it was because Galloway's pass was a little bit yeah, wide. Too, 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 too long. Couldn't, uh, couldn't quite catch up with that one. So the other guy that we're talking about here is Logan Dunchum, a 6'9", 234-pound freshman out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and Moeller High School. And at some point, I think this kid's got a chance to be pretty good. He's, he's not a he's a physical player. I just haven't seen enough of him uh, other than a few practice sessions to, to judge it. But I think the coaches feel like eventually he's going to be a very good player for Indiana. Right side, Hankerson with a basketball. Hankerson drives it to the right wing. A whistle and a foul called against Northern Illinois. And they're going to whistle this one on Crump. 
Well, I take it back. It was on Austin. So Chris Austin is the man they called on his first foul of the ball game. Inbound comes to Lander. Indiana with the ball. And closing in on a 40-point lead again. Here is Chris. Christian Lander gives it off right side to Galloway. Down to the corner to Geronimo. They feed Duncan. Move it. Move it Duncan ball. tries to back his way in. Forces a fadeaway shot off the glass. No. And we got a man fouling as Geronimo gets undercut there by it looked like uh, Manuel. And they're going to call the foul on Manuel or they're going to call it on. I think so. Yeah, they're going to call the foul on Manuel. No, they called it on. They called it on. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. I, I was looking at two twenty twos. <laughs> Geronimo's 22 and Manuel's 22. I'm thinking, no, you two are calling it on. Well, I was confused, too. When they went up 2-2, I kind of thought it was going to be uh, Manuel. I mean, there was no but... doubt 22 in red. He he backed out it, uh, under him, you know. Yep. Here's the free throw on its way. Good. And Jordan Geronimo knocks in his sixth point of the game. This kid has tremendous upside right here. I'm telling you, he's, he's the best athlete on the team as far as being able to jump and move and do things. And uh, he's shown tonight he can shoot the basketball. So I agree with you. He didn't shoot that one well, though. It's off the rim. But Logan Duncan comes up with it, tried to feed it inside, and it gets blocked away and stolen by Northern. Back the other way comes Hankerson. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Duncan. Fast break to Anthony Leo, and he will dunk it. The bench loves that. Anthony Leo gets his seventh point of the game. And all that hard work he's put in during the offseason and here during practice sessions starting to pay off for him. Here is Crump firing it up there. He missed it, an air ball and a whistle. And what do we got? Foul called down low, and it's going to be on Leo Hill's first. But Indiana's on top, 41 points with 1.32 to go. So going to the free throw strike will be Edward Manuel, 6'6", junior, out of Lake Charles, Louisiana, for the Huskies, and he knocks that free throw down his third point of the game. And now Khan and Hunter are both coming back in for Northern Illinois. Hankerson sits down. Yeah, Hanker Hankerson had 28 the first game, and uh, what would he end up with? Maybe six? Three. Three. That one three pointer. That's right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> one field goal in this ball game. And Manuel fires it up there and knocks it in. So Edward Manuel comes up with his fourth point of the night. Indiana's lead shrinks to 39 with a minute 32 left. 85-46. Inbound comes to Christian Lander. Lander throws it up to, the, or to uh, Geronimo. Jordan finds Trey Galloway. They throw it back out to Lander. Now Lander with a basketball on the dribble. Slides it out to midcourt. Gives to Leal in the corner to Geronimo. Three-pointer on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound taken down by Chris Austin for Northern Illinois. Minute 13 left, and down the floor, Khan has it, bounces to Austin. Austin turns around, feeds it on one dribble to Thornton. Thornton almost had it taken away, but comes up with it. Now Crump, and he Get down the basketball. Travel. Yep. Crump has done, he has done the traveling violation thing three times today. And he did so there. Now the bounce pass comes in to Lander, and Christian will bring it up. Just inside a minute left. Indiana's going to have their second win of the season, and this one much more impressive than the first as Leal gives it up to Logan Duncan. Duncan brings it to the top, gives to Galloway. Galloway drives it left all the way to the hole, throws it in the corner. Christian Lander, three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound tipped away. Fought four and out of bounds. It'll belong to Northern. 37.4 seconds left. And the Hoosiers are going to walk out of here tonight with a very impressive win over Northern Illinois, a team that beat the University of Washington on the road on Tuesday night to open their season. And now here's Thornton with a basketball. Thornton slides to the right, to the left, very quick with a basketball, throws it left side to Hunter. Hunter hasn't scored tonight, and he fires up a three, and he knocks it in. Darwishi Hunter with his first two point or three points in this ball game. On that field goal. And it's 85-49. Mike Woodson says this. Dribble it out, boys. We don't need to do anything else. This game is over. And it certainly is. As they will wrap things up here this evening. Handshakes around. And Indiana wins it. 
85 to 49. Indiana University with 2-0 record.